and welcome to WWE Girl Talk. I'm Coral. I'm Ashley. And today we're reviewing the Smackdown from the 14th of May. We're getting there. We are. We're only two weeks behind now. Yeah, two weeks behind. We, we got caught up in like the last two hours. Yeah. So don't know. Yeah, do you know Um... So they started off um, Smackdown Dean Ambrose, he came out to talk about what happened on Monday night and says he has one thing to say for Roman. Um, Reigns come out, there was a bit of an awkward pause where he wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that because I was like, uh, what are we waiting for? Um, what you waiting, what you waiting for? Yeah, because obviously Dean um, did his dirty deeds on Roman Reigns, so I think he was clear, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so Reigns said he knew Ambrose would do it. And that it's his time to also join the main event kind of circle. Uh, Reigns has said he's bringing his big guns. So obviously he's... Got, he's uh, the only reason he's successful is because he's strong. Yeah. He, he's, he's... You know, whatever. A few girls like him. Yeah. <laughs> and he says, you know, they might still be brothers, but he wants Ambrose to bring the fight. So basically, bring it on, basically. Bring it on, bitch. And Kane comes out to break up the bromance because mm. it's sickening. And yeah. um, he says they should worry about getting to pay back. Um, but Ambrose says Kane has something to worry about too mm-hmm. uh, and says Kane might be fired uh, but Kane says he'll be here and that Ambrose is going to face Seamus right now but I remember this bit because uh, Dean actually cut him off went oh what so I'm going to have this match and I can never get right now <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and Kane was like yes actually right now <laughs> and that really made me laugh yeah. it's so like it's all Kane says Yeah, it's really apparent you know yeah it's quite funny I think that's what's good about Dean though he points out the obvious mm. so. it makes you laugh because yeah. like everyone knows it like come on uh, so then we have Seamus versus Dean Ambrose I don't really remember this match to be quite no, honest no I don't it, it, it was lacklustre well, I, don't, I don't remember it at all I remember the segment before yeah I mean I don't think Seamus and Dean Ambrose have chemistry. No. I don't think they have it. They seem to be a bit like trying to fit in a jigsaw puzzle that doesn't fit. Right? <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Um, but Ambrose actually wins with a roll-up. Hmm. Which is weird. And it's weird that no one actually interfered. Yeah. That's why maybe I don't remember it. Maybe. Because you expect someone like Dolph or someone to come out and do yeah. something. So yeah, Dean won that one, which is good because obviously if Dean didn't win it, it would have made him a quick week. Yeah. Um, a bit shit. Um Below Shane's. Yeah. Then Lana comes out on her own and uh, mm-hmm. she's like, Don't cheer. You could do this better than I can. Do it. Oh, Go oh. ahead. Don't cheer for me, Rusev. <laughs> don't cheer for me. Rusev don't like it when you cheer. Yeah, she just is so good. <laughs> uh, then Rusev comes out on his own. They come out separately, which is really weird. And uh, Rusev screams at the fans to shut up. Shut up! And Lana apologises for doing the Fandango dance. <laughs> I don't know if we mentioned that more, actually. That was a while back, wasn't it? Yeah. This is the Raw before, I swear. Because it weren't on the Raw we just reviewed. It was in the Raw before Yeah, because they weren't Why they only just got back to that? I only just realised. Because yeah. we're so mixed up. Yeah. Don't Why have they left it like a week or two before they've even brought that up? Because Fandango weren't against Rusev. Fandango was against Luke Harper. Eric Rowan, I mean. Yeah, they left it like two weeks to bring that yeah. up. That is wrong. Bad. That is bad continuity. Um, mm. It's like they forgot. Oh, oh shit, we knew we yeah. forgot something. <laughs> Let's keep that going. Um, she reads an apology letter and asks for forgiveness. I don't remember that, remember that happening, but apparently that's what happened. She read out an apology. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Then Rusev says John Cena will lose on Sunday, basically. Yeah, but really? Um, yeah, well, we know it's going to happen. <laughs> and that... Um, yeah, I think before this, uh, before he started going on about Cena, he actually sent Lana backstage and told her to go away. So mm. she went away. Bye bye, Lana. But yeah, Rusev kept it short and sweet and just said, John Cena's going to quit. Uh, we then had um, Seth Rollins with Jared Jessica, of course, first right back. Random fucking one. It was a random match. I don't understand yeah. why. I mean, you, the match happened because at the end of the match, or actually might be during, uh, I'm pretty sure Bray Wyatt comes and attacks him, doesn't he? Oh, I might have. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he runs out and tackles him doing his entrance. That's why that was the match. Oh. He literally like, runs into him and shoves him into the barricade. <laughs> um, but then right back's like, no, I'm going to do this match, actually. I'm going to do it still. And so yeah. it's like, fuck's sake, all right then. <laughs> um, but obviously right back's like, I'm beat. 
So Seth is, you know, in control. Bray Wyatt doesn't appear again. It would have made more sense for him to actually yeah. come back and be like, bitch, yeah, I didn't yeah. lend you. So yeah. I'm do it now. So you just kind of thought, oh, fuck it. Person? I'll do a bit of payback. <laughs> he got lazy and went to go home. Um, but uh, Rollins needs him in the head and super kicks him twice. And uh, pins him. Good picture of Seth, though, because Ryback's not exactly uh, weak. No. It's quite a strong little lemon. Yeah. I don't know why I call him a lemon. <laughs> a lemon. He's a strong little lemon. He looks like one. Just a bit, doesn't he? The lemons are a bit deformed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Naomi has a moment with Renee backstage. Poor Naomi. And she <laughs> says she's tired of being overlooked and she's been here for years. And there's nothing to show for it, basically, because I don't think she's ever been Divas Champion, is she? No. Um, and she says Tamina and her are doing what they should and other Divas are just in their way. Um, so he's sacked. And Nikki's a joke and Bree's a quitter. Fact. Like her husband. Fact. Uh, and then she says she's a good girl, but being bad to get things done. Would you quite like Fact. that? Yeah. She's only, she's only doing what she wants to get her own way. Which is, you know. Fair play. Everyone does that sometimes, you know, you have to do that to get your way. Yeah. I, I do like the, I like the direction that Naomi's in. I'm not sure if I like the fact that she's doubled with Tamina now. Yeah. It makes her look weak, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. She can easily do it on her own. She doesn't need to meet her. Yeah, I'd like her to do it on her own. Yeah. Can I just say, why Natalia hasn't got purpose anymore, has she? Like, I know she's in terms of Cesaro, but she's never had, she's not had a match this year, I don't think. She hasn't had matches, but no, not with purpose. Oh, she, she hasn't wrestled since um, Summer Rae and Cameron. She not? No, she hasn't wrestled since then. It's not a good two Yeah. I oh, know. What, what she she does little bits of El Dorito. El Dorito. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, then we have Tyson Kidd versus Kofi Kingston. Um, and uh, Tyson Kidd wins, which is good. Um, but then you kind of know, Cesaro won on Raw, Tyson Kidd won on SmackDown. New Day are going to win this at Payback. You mm. just know, because, you know, they're not going to make New Day look like shit. But um, it was a quick match, I remember it, it was really quick. Uh, it was. I thought to myself, what's the point of having the match? Yeah. If it's going to be over in like two seconds. Um, Kofi actually taps out to the sharpshooter. Which was done through Kofi trying to do a roll up, but um, Tyson Kidd countered. Huh. Which is quite nice. Hmm. I like it when they counter and win. Uh, but yeah, nothing really to say about the match, to be honest. Yeah. It was too quick, you couldn't. Yeah. It was like they were just like, okay, do a couple of moves and it's over. There yeah. wasn't really much to say. Um, then we had Bo Dallas versus Neville, which was exciting. I, but it was nice. Quick. Yeah, too quick. quick. A majority of the match. Was this one with someone on commentary? No. It was on with commentary. Wait, it was on uh, Bad News Barrett the whole time. Oh, maybe and, it was. This yeah, one. and we never saw the match properly. Oh, yeah, yeah. he is on commentary for this yeah. one. Yeah, he is. We never saw the match properly. And it, the thing is, they're all like, oh, yeah, they, they had a feud on NXT and all this. And that was how it was Bo Dallas won the championship. Or, or yeah, Neville. Neville. So I like this. I thought, oh, this is going to be good. And the whole fucking thing was on Bad News Barrett. Yeah. He was arguing with Jodie King Law the most Yeah. Of it. That's all I remember. It was, I don't know why. Uh, like, I get why, why Bad News Barrett's there because obviously they match at Payback. But... I want to see by Dallas and Neville. Yeah. It was, uh, it was nice to see something different. Um, yeah. But basically, by Dallas was talking about Brian, Daniel Brian, sorry, mm. leaving, um, saying how he was a quitter and that you got to believe in yourself. You know how he does his thing. Um, and then we see Neville come in but what annoyed me is they cut to an ad break and then you joined halfway through the end of the, like, the match anyway. Yeah. So you missed the beginning of the match and it was literally, you know, near the end of the match because mm. you only had like two minutes left. Probably not even that. And the match was pretty much done. Mm. Mm. I don't know why they keep cutting off, especially when they're pushing Neville so much. And this push of Neville seems to be helping Bo Dallas. Yeah. And that's a good thing. You need to push every, all the talent, not just a couple. Yeah. That's what pisses me off about WWE. Because NXT seems to be pushing everyone. Yeah, but then they don't carry that on when they get to the big league. Yeah. You should. Push everyone. It makes the whole thing look better, right? Yeah. But, um, obviously never won with a red arrow. Mm -hmm. Which is good. But it was too quick to really, like, enjoy the match. Yeah. Like, it was just, oh, that's over already. But there weren't enough going on. Like, you saw too much bad news. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he gets up on the commentary table after the match and um, says Neville is no challenge to his crown. But it, what... What's the point? There's no challenge to the crown, I don't know. Bad News Barrett doesn't do anything. <coughs> He's king, but he doesn't do anything. Logic. 
He makes fun of Neville, basically. Like, you meant to be making matches and stuff, mm. or... Yeah. I think it doesn't. It was a bad time to do it when we still got the authority. Yeah, it was. Because the only way he would have done anything, it would have clashed the authority. authority. Yeah. So I mean, he sh- that, that, yeah, it should have happened once the authority had gone. I feel like they've made King of the Ring to rebrand Barrett. Barrett. Probably they probably did. Yeah. It's a bit. Dodge. But um, he tells all the fans to how him, which no one will want to anyway. Yeah. Um, and then we have some gross image of Rosa Mendes and uh, Adam Rose slogging. <laughs> we did that it's such a British <laughs> word as well. Yeah, making sorry, out. that means yeah, making out. Making it out. They were, they were making it out. Yeah, they're snogging. And um, they asked the hot dog guy to stop watching them. <laughs> <laughs> did you like stop watching? Not which really, actually made me laugh to be honest. <laughs> that actually made me laugh. But Rosa and Adam Rose just made me cringe. I'm just like, yeah. oh, cute. like you can tell they're not into it. You can tell. Is it really they're not really into it? I think she is, isn't she? She's got a boyfriend at the moment, though. Is she? She's bisexual, isn't she? Oh. I don't know. Do you know what it says? She's not into it, then. Yeah. yeah, but he's not into it. Like, he's, he seems a bit repulsed by it. Has he got a wife, though? Yeah, he's got yeah, a wife. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. But, um, the hot dog says, um, he's actually Carl. <laughs> He's what? He's Carl. His name's Carl. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm just like, why are we having this? Um, this. Are we getting paid? Yeah. You don't it. get paid for art. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing like an American accent. He's like pretending to be English, but he's like South African. <laughs> yeah, that's his gimmick though. What? I just I I found out that that's Adam Rose's gimmick to be British. Oh really? He's not actually British. He doesn't talk British normally. Because uh, I watched the ESPN sixty thing. Yeah. Uh, Does he sound weird? He's he's American. Is he American? I thought he's South African. He's South African, but the accent sounds American. Oh, but really? South African accents do tend to sound a bit American. Oh really? And yeah, so his gimmick is a British rock star. Like a Russell uh, Brand. See, like, I can't, like, I've kind of got, like, that anyway, yeah. but... He's not actually British. I was like, oh, like makes sense. Rock and roll. I think. Mm. But, but, yeah. Then Rose shoves Carl into the rest of the rosebuds, and they all fall like dominoes. And then they all... And then it says, the party's over. And Rose says, it's not a party, it's not over for us. And they make out again. <laughs> So great. Yeah. Good job I won't watch it today when I was feeling ill. I was actually watching it when I was eating and I was like, I had to put um, my food um, down. Yeah, I was like, gone I was like eating my dinner and I was like, oh gosh, I can't. I literally was sitting there on my own in my room going, ooh. <laughs> like, out loud. Ew, ew, yeah, ew, yeah. Ew, ew. It actually repulsed me that much. I was like, oh, this is gross. Um, we then had Kane versus Roman Reigns, which was the main event of the evening. Why? I don't know. I'm fed up with seeing this match. Mm. It's like they replaced Big Show with Kane. Yeah, they have, haven't they? Yeah. They're not saying fun of people. Yeah. Don't know why. Um, so Kane, uh, again, are you fucking serious, attacks Roman Reigns before the match begins, <laughs> which is what happened on Raw. Um, and uh, he pushes it, Reigns into the steel steps. But they eventually make it into the ring, and the match starts this time, which is really weird, because on <laughs> Raw, the, <laughs> match was, the match was like, no, because you attacked him, the match is done. But on SmackDown, different rules apply. Yeah. You can have the match now. SmackDown's blue, you see. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> rules red. It's angry. Why don't you do things? We're <laughs> more willing than SmackDown. SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Um, but yes, yeah, so they have a match, and it was the most boring thing I've ever seen. Oh, I, it is. I was ready for bed at this point. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll watch this in bed too, you know. Yeah, I always watch it in bed. I'm like, in my little, little raccoon, like, raccoon. I'm not in a raccoon. <laughs> my cocoon. <laughs> I'm like, oh. I found a really good place on my dresser where I can perch my iPad. And just like, watch this. Oh, I love it when that happens. Yeah. You find that spot and you're like, yes. Yeah. Um, even Jake watches it with me. Does he? He'll probably get there too. He's going to get, like, he is, attached. He is attached to it. Equally. Um, like. So, um, Reigns hits him with a Superman punch. You know, it's the same move set, so man punch and spear. <laughs> but he spears him for a table this time because apparently, you know. One. Oh, is this the match where it's like you have to win by pinfall? You have to win yeah. by pinfall. Basically, that is a long way, winded way of saying no disqualification match. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't they just say it was no disqualification match? Yeah. You have to win by pinfall. Oh <gasps> God, excitement. No, it's a no disqualification match. So he won by spearing Kane for a table. Fine, you pinned him, but it was a no disqualification match. <laughs> uh, what, what planet are we on now where they're just make, they're making up random matches? just trying to make it more exciting. But it's not. You're just sitting there going, what the fuck? Are you insulting me? Like, 
It's a notice qualification match. There's two different kinds of notice qualification, <laughs> notice qualification match. Yeah. There's a notice qualification match, and there is a no pin. What is it? Just pinball. You have to yeah, win by pinball. Just, uh, just win by pinball match. <laughs> so seriously. Think about that. I mean, could they not win by submission then? I guess not. But in notice qualification, you're not going to use submission, are you? Let's be honest. No. Um, what if they pass out? It's just time. Just oh, it's wild. So I made a, no, no, no. I made a drink and it's disgusting. She disappointed us. Yeah. <laughs> so then we have Renee backstage. Do you know why we've ended this with Renee? Mm. But um, Renee and our Seth backstage. What we thought of tonight's events. And Ronnie's 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 <laughs> Ronnie's <Ronnie. laughs> Ronnie says it take a lot more than that to beat him. Uh, uh, Dean Ambrose walks in eating a cookie. <laughs> And he slams the cookie tray onto uh, into Ronnie's face, and they have a bit of a brawl backstage. Um, they all gang off a minute, but Reigns rushes in. He got back there fast. He did. Uh, he slams the woman to some like camera equipment. Uh, then Reigns and Dean have a brief like stare down, like I'm gonna kiss you kind of thing again. Uh, Reigns ch- goes to shake Ambrose's hand, but Ambrose doesn't pick up the championship. Puts it on Roman's shoulder. And says rain shouldn't rubby because we'll take it for good on Sunday. And that was the end of um, Smackdown. Really weird way to end it. It was a really weird way to end it. Mm. I don't know why he gave him the belt. Because no. like, when he first did it, I was like, don't say you're going to help him win it. Like, that, yeah. that's what I thought was going to happen. I was like, do not say that. But no. Weird way to end uh, Smackdown. Yeah, I don't like it. No. Mm. Not fair. Not fair. Mm. It was a bit of a mediocre SmackDown. Like it's yeah. just got like really short matches, try and fill the time up to get to the yeah. main event break, Really, I, I'm gonna rate it throw it two. Actually, yeah, two. I, I wouldn't rate it more than that. To no. be honest, I mean, I've, I can I, like from in my point of view. I don't know if you're the same, but I rate NXT and WWE on different scales. Yeah, but I wouldn't rate NXT on the same scale. I'd rate WWE like episodes so yeah. when I rate an NXT one and I rate like a 3 or a 4 doesn't mean it's better than a Raw Smackdown no yeah like I don't know because to me NXT is still a separate thing yeah it's same. got the same stars Brand, yeah. yeah so it's got a completely different show I do kind of want to check out Ring of Honor though oh, no. we it's all about. no we won't review it yet but yeah apparently <laughs> Ring of Honor are taking TNA spot on TV so I hope people get over it yeah I hope so I heard good things okay. about Ring of Honor. Yeah. So, um, I don't even know who's in it though. No, but it's all those are people who end up in WWE come from Ring of Honor, so that's why I'm quite yeah. excited. And I hope that NXT will have a lot of TNA people. That yeah, are I was going to say, what's going to happen to the TNA people? Yeah, they're going to have to go somewhere. Well, the Divas are awful, but yeah, don't take Divas. But I know Samoa Joe's already back on NXT. Oh, he was on yeah. TNA. He was like one of the he was like the main championship holder. Oh, yeah. He's on NXT. What's going to happen to Jeff Hardy? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Jeff Hardy, what happened? Who else went over there? Didn't someone else start? Dappy Boys. Dappy Boys. What the Matt Hardy Jeff went over to there. Mr. Went. Kennedy went over there. Bobby Lashley went over there. A lot of them mm. went over there. Now they they're gonna regret that move. Mm. They could have done a lot of good things for Mr. Kennedy. I liked him. Mm. They could. They, I reckon they're gonna split between Ring of Honor and WWE though. Yeah, probably. But we'll see. I would like Jeff Hardy to go back. Mm. I don't think he will. I don't think. I don't, I'm not sure he'll fit in. No. I'm not sure he'll fit in. He'd be good against Neville though. Mm. That'd be a good match. Unless he's still good at all that. Oh, I've seen him years. Yeah. I've only seen him once, so it's just a ladder match. Oh. Everyone else was so shit, it just made him look good. So I was like, is he still good? Yeah, he knows. But, but anyway, yeah. that is our SmackDown review. Yeah. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, re- retweet, retumble. Follow us, like us, share us. Just Enjoy. love us. Goodbye.